Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I will be introducing you guys to the idea of polynomials. And uh, to start off, let's consider the idea of polynomial function. Well, before that, I hope that you you still remember what you have seen in the previous chapters where these following functions have already been encountered previously. So the first one is uh, what we call the constant function where you have only a constant. Okay, a is not equal to zero. Next, um, a linear function is in this form ax plus b a is not equal to zero. Next, if you have a quadratic function that is basically having um, x squared, so the highest degree is 2, so that is why it is called a quadratic function and it is given by this um, expression which is ax squared plus bx plus c. And cubic function uh, generally is a extended case where you have um, x to the power of 3 so 3 is the highest degree and so we call it the cubic function when it has this standard form of ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d now i hope that um, you are able to see that this type of function this mathematical representation mathematical representation of the functions given here can actually be um, represented in a general form which is known as polynomial function so um, this is the polynomial function uh, it is written in this manner such that you have the coefficient so these are all coefficients so coefficients are multiplied next to this x this is the power of x okay so um, notice that the value of a n is not equal to zero and n here will be uh, consist of positive integers only okay so positive integers so if if let's say you have a constant function so this constant function can be uh, written in this in this form where everything else is zero for example you can have a n here equals zero this one is also equals zero and this is equal zero and so you are left with just a naught which is a constant term here so that becomes a constant function and similarly if if you want to write down um, fx ax plus b so this is the linear function it can also be uh, uh, written as having this term equals to zero this is also equals to zero and you just have these two remaining terms at the end which is a1x plus a0 and this is similar to having ax plus b so um, based on the um, polynomial function given here these are the following terms that you should be familiar with so the first one is the term uh, called polynomial degree n so this term is determined by the highest power of x for example if you have this this is the polynomial function so um, based on this um, the highest power of x is this one. You have x to the power of 4. Therefore, we would say that this polynomial function is a polynomial of degree 4. Um, and so, next is uh, coefficients of the polynomial. So, coefficients of the polynomial is just um, a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a 1 and a naught and there are uh, if you see based on this equation they are actually situated next to every x that you have in this polynomial function and for a naught in particular a naught is actually 
a coefficient for x to the power of 0 and x to the power of 0 is just 1 so we can just omit that from the expression now leading coefficient is the coefficient of the highest power which is a n so if you look at this um, polynomial function for example the highest power is x to the power of 4 therefore our a n here which is the leading coefficient must be a a4 so therefore uh, leading coefficient in this case is just a a4 because um, it is um, the coefficient that um, corresponds to the highest power next is the constant term so constant term is a naught well it doesn't have any x next to it so that is called a constant term okay um, let's look at this simple example you are required to complete the following table here and based on this this is actually just a constant function this is a constant function the polynomial of degree zero because obviously you get a constant function when you have um, a negative five uh, actually negative 5 times x to the power of 0 and this is actually negative 5 x to the power of 0 is 1 this is just negative 5 so that's why polynomial of degree 0 and um, leading coefficient is um, there is no leading coefficient so not applicable here the constant term is negative negative 5 now for this one this is a linear function polynomial of degree 1 because x is to the power of 1 and the leading coefficient is negative 2 so this is the leading coefficient that corresponds to the highest power and the constant term is 6 so next for this one this is a quadratic equation um, polynomial of degree 2 leading coefficient is 7 okay leading coefficient is 7 and uh, there is no constant term so constant term is um, actually 0 okay uh, for this one um, the highest power is uh, 3 so this is the highest power so this is a cubic function polynomial of degree 3 leading coefficient is 1 so this is 1 times x to the power of 3 next the constant term is 10 and finally here this is a quartic quartic uh, function polynomial of degree 4 the leading coefficient is negative 8 and the constant term is 4 all right thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video um, that will be about operations that can be um, done on polynomials. Thank you very much for watching.